We're on. Here we go. Another episode of Owls TV with Luke. So, everyone, I am going to make this quick, right? But uh, I'm just getting excited because we've got an episode that is going to be coming up with Colorado chromatography. I know a lot of you have been very excited about HHC. There has been a lot of questions around it. And so before we have the interview, I would like you to drop some comments below and let me know what questions you have about HHC. Um, I know for me, it is a very interesting topic because mainly due to the fact that HHC is not going to be something that is banned easily, mainly due to the fact that it's not a THC. So when they talk about D10, D8, D9, D6, whatever it is, they are often just going for that three letter word, THC. However, HHC and also another one, CBND, is, uh, are, are others that won't be thrown into that. So you wanna ban this, well then we're just gonna go over here, and so on and so forth. So when it comes to HHC, which is called hexahydrocannabinol, and um, I'm learning, I'm, I'm doing my best trying to learn about this too. Um, all I can say, I know that it's similar in structure to THC. There is something with regards to uh, THC has, uh, T is like tetra is 10. So there's 10 atoms or, or bonds or something. I'll ha again butcher in that, but I'll ask them. And whereas hexa is six. So um, that's the differences between the two. So they are quite similar. And overall, I've had my experiences with it and it was really good, honestly. Um, I did a previous video with, um, oh no, I'm gonna forget. Uh, when HHC first came out, I did an interview with, flown over my head I'll ha yeah hopefully you've seen it it's the HH cannabinoid podcast that I did forgive me um Pharma X boom Pharma X saved the day right there Pharma X from Oregon and we tried it and um and so I really think it's a fascinating cannabinoid it's also legal as far as I'm aware I think good question to ask in 50 states and so um I know there's actually two isomers there's like uh there's, a, there's one isomer that's about more psychoactive and there's others that aren't. So tell me everybody, what questions do you have? I haven't heard of HHC being in edible form. Um, you know, let me know what is your questions that you have because I'm gonna be fortunate enough to actually have a conversation with Kyle from, um, from um, Colorado Chromatography and they are literally, they were the first company to drop it and now everybody else is trying to mimic them. They're the best, right? Colorado Chromatography is literally the standard and there's no one else that's really coming close to them. So it's a real honor for us to be able to have them on the channel. And if we're fortunate enough, we may even be able to have their head chemist come on and we would be able to talk about this too. So Colorado Chromatography are literally the pioneers in this industry. And as we begin to move to possibly other products, there is ones that we will not be able to make ourselves. And we wanna make sure that we're always being as safe as possible. I'm not sure if any of you are aware, but there was a massive explosion down in Los Angeles where four people lost their lives. Uh, one of those, gentleman is on was on the uh, future 4200 that were a part of there and it was just uh very upsetting to you know see someone just you know trying their best to 
you know, just doing our best to try and make some of these new compounds. But as we begin to make more and more new ones, some of these procedures begin to get quite dangerous, especially if the procedures aren't followed correctly. Main thing being is that there's a process called hydro, uh, hydrogenation, which basically means that you effectively create a pressure cooker with hydrogen in there. And so, uh, cause the process for making HHC, we'll clear this up with Colorado chromatography is a, is, is adding hydrogen, uh, hydrogen bond to uh, the molecule, which turns it into HHC. Um, so basically, long story short is if you don't have the right procedures or something goes wrong, guess what? It literally explodes. And so um, that explosion happened, five people died. I think four people died, one's in critical care right now, like the whole building exploded. So um, again, it's and now there's a lot of other people who are coming out with hhc and to be perfectly honest i don't trust any of them and um i do trust colorado chromatography as i said they're pioneers in the industry and um and they know they're one of the first to come out with uh, cbn2 and so i would just ask all of you to start getting your questions together and let's let's figure it out and see what other questions you might have i know obviously i've just spoken about a few for myself but the one thing i want to say here is is that we owls we here at owls are doing our best to set the standard for premium high quality hemp cannabis products right hemp is cannabis we are setting the tone for what it means to have premium cannabis products and that often means being methodical with what we release it means going above and beyond and for instance colorado chromatography were one of the first people to come out with hhc they've got a patent pending and they were also the ones that had because there was no testing for it right so they worked with a lab called uh, kca and they actually we're able to give the standard to KCA so that now everybody can test for HHC. So you see a lot of people who are selling HHC with no test results. Like, I don't mean to be bad, but like, fuck you, right? Like I, like, like, I can't stand companies that release products without test results that say, here, have a look at this, right? Like, like same thing with THCO, right? All these people, oh, let's just get it to market. Let's just send it out there. Oh, we've got gummies tested. What are you talking about? Like you don't have anything tested. Anyway, that's my rant over. My point here is, is that we've got Colorado Chromatography going to be coming on here. And I really want to hear from all of you parliament for what questions you have for them. And I'm going to put all these together and we are going to have an opportunity to be one of the first to actually talk to Colorado Chromatography about HHC and some of the other new cannabinoids. So let's get it. Wow.